Let's do a chamfer call out. Go back to Katia. Right click. And actually, what we got to do is go to the part. Right click, open 3D data. Keeps the link between the part and your drawing. Double click, sketch one. Simply delete this radius. Watch my sketch videos on how to create these if you haven't done these. I'm just going to use chamfer and select the two lines and create a chamfer. And it defaulted to a hypotenuse, which we never do. So I hit undo and go back to chamfer. Even though these lines aren't touching, it will figure out how to extract, extrapolate them or trim them to fit. Now this time, I'm going to use this one here. It's length and angle. I put my cursor here. And what I do is I just drag this tool palette down or hit the tab button to get it in that quadrant. And you could key in your length. So typically, quarter inch by 45 is very t common. You hit tab. And it puts that chamfer in, and it measures not the hypotenuse, but this. So again, I'll come over here under dimension, select this line and this line. Slide this over here. And I'm going to hit uh, bring the tool tab tablet down here. And I'm just going to change that to quarter inch. All right, so they're both quarter inch on either side because the shop's going to, according to the way I did this, I'm telling the shop, come down here and mark it here and hit it at a 45 degree angle. And it knocks off that piece. So that's a chamfer. And we will go to the drawing. So I find the drawing tab up on the top. Remember the yellow symbols? What does that mean? We have to go to the tab standard and find the update. Now, this goes into this mode anytime you have not exited the sketch workbench. So don't panic when I go into this mode here. Notice I'm still in the sketcher workbench. Make sure to go to your exit app. And I always, I'm not saving because I'm not, I don't want this part, but you guys are making your part. You want to save that part. So make sure you save that part. And then you can pop back into your drawing and hit the update and it'll automatically update the part to reflect the new chamfers. I can delete out this and we can go to the chamfer command under annotate. It actually has a feature called chamfer. Now why it doesn't have radius and diameter, I don't know. Why not just have, if you can figure out everything else. Why not have chamfer there? It doesn't. So we'll go to chamfer, select this edge. That is the ISO standard. So remember what to do. I meant to go to properties. Find dimension line. ISO standard is regular, ANSI ASME is two parts. Apply that, select OK. Now, notice that this is in inches, this is in inches. One of them is supposed to be in the angle. So, when you go to your chamfer command and select a line, make sure to look at your tool, ta tab tool palette. And you want to have length and angle. So you're telling the shop, measure over so far. And then chop it at 45. I'm going to go to properties. Change regular to two part. Apply and OK. Move this over here so you can see. See if I can get these grouped. We go to right click properties.
change value. Oh, it's weird because it's ch the chamfer tab. We go to chamfer and go to feet uh, numdink and change that precision to four places for ASME. Apply that and say OK. All right, so we don't call off quarter inch by quarter inch. We call off quarter inch by 45 degree. We tell them to measure from an edge, strike it at 45, and that's how they knock off that part out in the shop. Uh, right click properties under the chamfer tab. No, I go to value. That's it. Precision should have been set to four places. Apply and OK. And that's how you do a chamfer call out.